On this Tech Tuesday, we're taking a load off. Every pressure washer system has some type of unloader. And in this case, we're talking about a series of unloaders that MTM Velocity offers today. We've got a BRV unloader here, which is a brand new element to our offering. And this unloader acts a little bit different than the current MG4000 series in that it is more sensitive to pressure spikes. The basic concept of all unloaders is that pressure that gets built up in your line pressure or operating pressure has to be bypassed. Here we have a 4,000 PSI, four gallon a minute unit, and we've got an old MG4000 unloader on here. And in this case, as long as your engine is firing or it's on, your pump is running. And so whether you're pulling the trigger or not, you have pressure being built up in your system. So when you relieve or disengage your gun, what happens is that the pump is still firing, so those pistons are still going, and that pressure is being built up and it has to go somewhere. And so when loader kicks into what's called bypass, and you see this bypass line right here. So when the pressure builds up to a certain point and it hits a spike, all of a sudden this unloader, you'll see it drop, and it only drops about, you can see here, it drops about a, an eighth of an inch. It's not much. And when your handle drops, it brings down a pin that pushes the entire flow into bypass out the side. And this is a low pressure line. This is not a 3 8 high pressure hose. So this goes into low pressure. In this case, it's going right back into the inlet, so it creates a circuit. All unloaders are gonna have a number of different ports on them. You've got an inlet port. In this case, I'm gonna turn it so it looks similar to this setup here. You've got your inlet here, or you have an alternate inlet at the bottom. You can see here, so there's two inlets. Whichever inlet you don't use, you have to plug. So on, if you don't use the side inlet, you would put a 3 8 BSP plug in there. Typically your unloader is gonna come with a quarter inch and a 3 8 inch plug so that if you need it, you can use it. You also are going to only use one of the bypasses. So there's a bypass on either side. So you've got one here or one here. That is so that you can mount it left or right. So you're gonna mount your unloader like this. Maybe you don't use this bypass, so you plug it. And on this side, you can use this bypass to go back into your low pressure line, or you can go into your tank. The top port, or maybe a side port you might call it, is typically going to be for some kind of measurement tool. In this case, you would want to use a pressure gauge. And so we've got a pressure gauge that we're going to install today. It's a 5,000 PSI pressure gauge, which is going to be about 20% larger than your pump. Typically, you want to be about 20% above the pump rated pressure for a pressure gauge. And this is going to be the closest you can get to the pump, so you would call it head pressure. Or if you were out at the end of your gun, you would call it line pressure. And an interesting component to that is that every foot of hose that you go out, you typically will drop one PSI. So if you're 50 feet out, you could drop 50 PSI. But that doesn't mean your pump is malfunctioning or slipping, that just means that you're dropping pressure over a distance. Unloaders come in relatively all the same size and shape, but what makes them different is usually the spring tension. And so that's why you see different colors. In this case, you probably can't see it, but there's an O-ring here that indicates what PSI range this particular unloader is at. This happens to be blue, which is 4,000 PSI. This is the new BRV, which is also blue, and it has a blue spring, and we're gonna show you that in a minute. That would indicate that this is also a 4,000 PSI unloader. This unloader, while it's the exact same model and sizing, has a black spring, and a black spring would indicate 4,500 PSI. This is a very common one in the pressure washing world. This means that these two units, while black and blue, are functionally the same, but the spring is different. And the only thing different about the spring besides the color is going to be the tension or how strong it is, which is measured in pounds. So when you look at an unloader, the actuation of this pin up and down, just looking at this going up and down an eighth of an inch is what puts this whole unit into bypass. The entire flow of the machine, your pressure washer and pump, is bypassed with this one little motion. The simplest way to set your unloader is by setting your double nut on the pin about a half an inch above the bottom. From there, you install your spring, you put on your top plate, which keeps the spring centered. 
Then if you have a handle, you put it on, or in this case, we're just gonna use a nut because we're quickly setting this, so we don't wanna deal with the handle on and off, and you can screw it down. At this point, we could set our unloader. Once it's mounted on here, this would spin. That's this action as you spin this. And it brings the whole handle up or down. As you go down, you increase the spring tension. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. And in that case, it's going to increase your pressure. So by drilling it down, you're saying, I want more pressure. And by backing it off, going to the left, you're saying, I want less pressure. That means it's the amount of pressure applied to the pin that makes it go into bypass. Less pressure means lower PSI. More pressure, which means the handle's further down, means that it's going to take more pressure, or 4,000 or 4,200, to go into bypass. Mm -hmm.